this is the running example of the hybrid inheritance. This is a class theory sub which deals with the Hindi English marks. This is a practical subclass which deals with the practical subject marks like physical training and dance music marks. Student class is doing multiple inheritance by inheriting the theory sub and practical subclasses. And this result class is inheriting the student class, implementing the multi-level inheritance. So mixing of the multiple and multi-level inheritance is done. Mixing of two inheritance is called hybrid inheritance. See, these are the two examples of the hybrid inheritance. And this was the code that I was showing you. Theory and practical sub are two independent classes. This is multiple inheritance and this is multi-level inheritance. Here, we will be doing one more program. This employee class will be inherited by the executive class as well as officer class. So this is hierarchical inheritance. And this executive and officer class will be inherited by the manager class. So this is the multiple inheritance. So the mixing of hierarchical and multiple inheritance leads to the hybrid inheritance. So watch the video up till the end. In this lecture, we will learn about hybrid inheritance. Now, by the name only it is very clear that hybrid means mixing of the few inheritances. This is the example of hybrid inheritance. A class has been inherited by two classes B and C. So this is the example of hierarchical inheritance. And these B and C classes are inherited by the B class. So this is the example of multiple inheritance. So it is a mix of hierarchical inheritance and multiple inheritance. So finally, this mixing of two inheritance will be called as a hybrid inheritance. See, there is one more example of a hybrid inheritance. These A and B are independent classes, right? And this C class is inheriting these two classes. So this is the example of multiple inheritance. This C class is inherited by another class D. So this is the example of multi-level inheritance, right? So again mixing of two inheritance, multiple and multi-level. This mixing of two inheritance will be called as a hybrid inheritance. Let us understand with the diagram. We will be making the program for both the examples, okay? Let us first understand this example. I assume that there is a class employee which has a function ENP info function. It displays code name and salary, right? There is an executive class and it inherits this employee class. This executive class has two functions, exec allowances, which calculates the allowances of the executive, right? And there is a function called exec info which displays the allowances which are calculated in the executive class. Now, the object of this executive class can access these two functions and also this ENP info function to display the code name and salary. Because to assume the code name and salary is required in all the three classes, these three classes, executive, officer and manager. So I have separated out this code name and salary and have put them into the employee class, right? Now this is the class officer, which is inheriting the employee class, right? This officer class has two functions, off allowances, which calculates the allowances of the officer. And this officer info will display those allowances, which are calculated specially for the officer. Now, the object of officer class will be invoking this ENP info function for also because code name and salary has to be required to be displayed. And beside this, these two functions will also be invoked by the object of the officer class. Now, this is a class manager which is inheriting the executive class and officer class. And it has two functions defined into it, man allowances, which calculates the allowance which are meant for the manager only, right? And there is one more function called manager info, which displays the allowances of the manager, right? So, the object of the manager class can not only access these two functions of manager class, can also access these two functions of executive class, can also access the two functions of officer class, and obviously the function of the base class can also be accessed through the object of the manager class. Let us understand the concept through a running program. This is the program. This is the employee class having one function EMP info that deals with the three attributes code name and salary. Executive class which inherits the employee class, it calculates the executive allowances and displays the executive allowances through exec info function. Officer class which again inherits the employee class, it calculates the officer allowances through this function of allowances and displays the allowances of the officer through this officer info function. This is a manager class which inherits both executive and officer class. It has these two functions, one for calculating allowances of the manager and another manager info for displaying the allowances. We'll start from the main function. You are creating an object exec obj of executive class and you are passing three arguments 101, bin 2 and 1000. On looking at three arguments, obviously the Python compiler will look for a parameterized constructor in the executive class. So control will jump over to the parameterized constructor of the executive class 
and will carry these three arguments 101 bin 2000 so control will come to the parameterized constructor of the executive class here and those three values 101 bin 2000 will be assigned to these three parameters c n and s i assume that these c n or s represents code name as salary okay now what will happen here you are invoking the parameterized constructor of the super class see executive class is inheriting the employee class so employee is a super class or executive class control will jump to the super class of the executive class that is here the parameterized constructor of the employee class will be executed the values in the c n s parameter will be assigned to these three parameters code enemy and cell and from code enemy and cell parameters the values will be assigned to code name and cell attributes these code name and cell are the instance attributes of the instance which has invoked the function this is the instance exec obj which has invoked these functions right so these code name and cell are assumed to be the attributes of exec obj object here you are invoking the exec alliance function of the executive class control will jump to the exec alliance function through exec alliances and of alliances function i am simply calculating the alliances which are meant for the executive as well as for the officer so here in this exec alliance function i am just computing two alliances for the executive cca that is city compensation alliance and i am assuming it to be as 25% of the basic salary this is just a random figure i just wanted to tell you that how to compute certain things in the executive class which is inherent in the employee class okay this hra stands for house rent alliance and i am assuming it to be the 15% of the basic salary because executive class is inheriting the employee class this salary attribute of the employee class can be accessed in the executive class okay after computing the cc and hra control will jump over here to the main function you are making an object of the officer class by name officer obj and you are taking these arguments 102 chirag and 1000 on looking these arguments obviously the python compiler will look for a parameterized constructor in the officer class and will execute it so control will jump here at the parameterized constructor of the officer class and these three values 102 chirag and 1000 will be assigned to these three parameters c n and s from the parameterized constructor of the officer class you are invoking the parameterized constructor of its super class the super class of officer class is employee class so control will jump to the employee class and will execute this parameterized constructor the values assigned to these c n or s parameters will be assigned to this code enemy and cell parameters and from there the values will be assigned to the code name and salary attributes and these code name and salary are the instance attributes of the instance which has invoked these functions that is of the officer obj object okay now you are invoking the off alliances function of officer class control will jump to the off alliances function and will calculate two things one is medical alliance which i assume to be 30% of the basic salary and another thing i compute in the officer classes convenience alliance petrol alliance which i assume to be 20% of the basic salary any random calculation okay after computing the allowances of the officer control will jump to the main function here you are creating the object of the manager class by name manager obj and these are the three arguments used for creating the object of the manager class obviously the compiler will look for the parameterized constructor in the manager class this is the parameterized constructor in the manager class this will be invoked and these three arguments 103 naman and 1000 will be assigned to these three parameters c n and s from here you are invoking the parameterized constructor of the super class see the manager class is doing multiple inheritance it is inheriting the executive class as well as officer class so the manager class has two super classes but while solving the diamond problem we have seen that python uses the mro method resolution order through which it will first look into the first class which has been inherited that is the compiler will look into the azure class first for the parameterized constructor and if it is found it will be executed so control will jump to the parameterized constructor of the azure class here and here you are invoking the parameterized constructor of the super class employee is the super class of azure class so control will jump to the parameterized constructor of the employee class and these arguments 103 naman and 1000 will be assigned to the code enemy and cell parameters and using these three parameters the values will be assigned to code name and salary attributes 
obviously these code name and salary are the instance attributes of the instance which has invoked them that is manager obj after that the control will jump to this line it is invoking the man allowances function of the manager class control will jump to the man allowances function right you are invoking the exec allowances function of the azure class control will jump to the exec allowances function i am assuming that the manager gets the allowances of the azure class as well as of the officer class so it will calculate the cca and hra which i assume to be 25% and 15% of the basic salary after that the control will come over here from here it will invoke the off allowances function of the officer class control will come over here and it will compute the medical allowance and conveyance allowance which i assume to be the 30% and 20% of the basic salary after that the control will jump to the main function here on the screen you get a message salary information of the executive is and you are invoking the exec info function of the executive class control will jump over here here you are invoking the enp info function of the super class the super class of executive class is employee control will jump to the enp info function of the employee class and will display the code name and basic salary on the screen after that the control will jump over here and these two lines which were not yet executed that is these two print statement these will be executed to display the city compensatory allowance and house rent allowance after that the control jumps to the main function here you get a message on the screen salary information of the officer is and the officer info function of the officer class will be invoked control will jump to the officer info function here before displaying the medical allowance and convenience allowance you have to display the code name and salary so the enp info function of the super class will be executed employee is the super class of officer class so control will jump to the enp info function of the employee class it will display the code name and salary after displaying the code name and salary control will jump here and these two print statement will be executed to display the medical allowance and the convenience allowance after that control will jump to the main function here on the screen you get a message salary information of manager is and thereafter manager info function of the manager class will be invoked control will jump over here right here you are invoking the exec info function of the azure class obviously to display the code name and salary and ccn hra values so control will jump to the exec info function here you are invoking the enp info function of the super class employee is the super class of executive control will jump here at the enp info function it will display the code name and basic salary on the screen after that control will jump over here it will display the cca that is city compensatory allowance and house rent allowance after that control will jump over here and will display the medical allowance and conveyance allowance so through the manager class you are displaying the allowances of the executive class as well as the officer class because i assume the manager gets the allowances of both executive as well as of the officer i am copying the program to the spider id this is copied i am running it see this is the information of the executive 101 bin 2 and 1000 this is cca i assume cca is 25% so 250 rupees is displayed hr is 15% so 150 is displayed this is information the officer 102 chirag and 1000 102 chirag and 1000 these three things are displayed through the enp info function and these two things medical allowance and convenience allowance are calculated from here of allowances function and they are assumed to be 30% see 300 rupees and 20% see 200 rupees thereafter the information of manager is displayed 103 naman and 1000 are displayed through the enp info function which displays the code name and salary and these four things see this ccn hra are displayed by calling the exec allowance function see ccn hra 25% and 15% can you see it and these medical and convenience allowance are displayed from here see let us do one more program to make the concept more clear of hybrid inheritance this is another program see here i have to calculate the result of a student so i am inheriting a student class this student class inherits two more classes theory subject class and practical subject class in theory subject class assume there are two attributes one is hindi english marks and assume in this particular sub class there are two attributes which deal with the practical subject marks like physical training marks and dance music marks and this student class has two attributes roll number and student name right so the object of student class can not only access the hindi english marks from the theory sub class and physical training marks and dance music marks from the practical sub class 
and it has roll number and name defined in itself. This result class computes the total and percentage. What is the total? The total of Hindi English marks and these physical training and dance music marks. Okay. So total and percentage will be calculated in this result class. So finally, theory sub has this function dis theory to deal with the Hindi English marks. This practical sub has the function this practical to deal with the physical training marks and dance music marks. And this student class has a function this student which deals with the roll number name attributes. And this result class has a this result function which calculates the total and percentage. Okay. Let us understand through the code. This is the code. Theory subject mark which deals with Hindi and English. Practical sub class deals with physical training marks and dance music marks. Student class inherits the theory subclass and practical subclass and it deals with two more attributes roll number name which means the object of student class can deal with roll number name plus Hindi English marks and physical training and dance music marks also. This is a result class which calculates the total and percentage. Total is assumed to be the total of Hindi plus English plus physical training plus dance music marks and percentage is total divided by 4. We will understand the program from here, the main function. You are making an object of the result class and the name of the object is result obj. You are using these six arguments while creating the result object and these six arguments are 101, bin 2, 70, 80, 75 and 85. I assume this is roll number, this is name, these are Hindi and English marks and these are physical training and this is dance music marks. On looking at these arguments, Python compiler will look for a parameterized constructor in the result class and the compiler will jump over here at the parameterized constructor of the result class and it will execute it. These six arguments will be assigned to these roll number, name and these six parameters R and P, M, B, T and D, M. From here you are invoking the parameterized constructor of the superclass. Student is the superclass of result. So by this line the parameterized constructor of the student class will be invoked and these six parameters will be carried along. So control will jump to the parameterized constructor of the student class. These roll number and name which are assigned to these R and N parameters will be assigned to the role and name attributes. Obviously these role and name are the instance attributes of the object which is invoking them that is of the result obj object. Okay. After that you are invoking the parameterized constructor of the theory subclass and you are carrying these two parameters p and m which carries the Hindi English marks. Okay. So the parameterized constructor of the theory subclass this will be invoked and the values of Hindi English marks will be assigned to this h and e parameters and through these parameters the values will be assigned to Hindi and English attributes. Obviously this Hindi and English are assumed to be the instance attributes of the instance of the object which is invoking these functions that is of the result obj object. After executing the parameterized constructor of the theory subclass control will jump here and from here the parameterized constructor of the practical subclass will be invoked and the values in the pt and dm parameters that is the marks of physical training and dance music marks will be carried along while invoking the parameterized constructor of the practical subclass. So the control will jump over here. The values in the pt dm parameters will be assigned to p and d parameters and through p and d parameters the values will be assigned to fee training and dance music attributes. This fee training and dance music are the instance attributes of the result obj class. Okay. After that the control will jump over here to the main function. On the screen you get a message student result card is and this result function of the result class will be invoked. Control will jump to the this result function. Here you are invoking the this student function of the super class. Student is the super class of the result class. So this student function will be invoked of the student class. Control will jump over here. You are displaying the roll number and name on the screen. In order to display the Hindi English marks, the disp theory function of the theory subclass will be invoked. Control will jump to the disp theory function and it will display the Hindi English marks on the screen. After displaying the Hindi English marks, control will jump to the disp student function here and it will invoke the disp practical function of the practical subclass. Why is it so? Because we want to display the practical subject marks like physical training and dance music marks. So control will jump to the this practical function of the practical subclass and it will display the physical training marks and it will display the dance music marks also. 
After executing the parameterized constructor of the practical subclass, that is after assigning the values to the free training and dance music attributes, control will jump to the parameterized constructor of the result class that is here and it will calculate the value for the total attribute. This total is the attribute of the result class and the total is being computed as the sum of Hindi, English, free training and dance music marks. See this Hindi and English is of theory subclass. These are the attributes of the theory subclass. And these free training and dance music are the attributes of the practical subclass. How they are accessible in the result class? They are accessible through the student class, which is doing multiple inheritance, which is inheriting both the classes, theory sub and practical sub. So all the four attributes are added and the addition of them is assigned to the total attribute of the result class. And you have computed the percentage which is assumed to be total divided by 4. So the values are assigned to the roll number and name attributes here and the value assigned to the Hindi English marks by this parameterized constructor of theory subclass. The values are assigned to the physical training and dance music attributes by invoking the parameterized constructor of the practical subclass and these two things are calculated total and percentage also. Thereafter the control will jump to the main function. On the screen you get a message student result card is and the disk result function of the result class is invoked and the control will jump to the disk result function here. Basically in this disk result function you are displaying the total and percentage only. So to display the roll number name you have to invoke the function of the student class. To display the Hindi English marks you have to invoke the function of the theory subclass and to display the physical training and dance music marks you have to invoke the function of the practical subclass. Okay. So here you are invoking the disk student of the superclass. Student is the superclass of result class. So control will jump to the this student of the student class here. You are displaying the roll number and name because roll number and name belongs to the student class only, right? To display the Hindi English marks, you are invoking the disp theory function of the theory subclass. Control will jump to the disp theory function here of the theory subclass and it will display the Hindi English marks, right? After that, the control will jump here in the disp student function. This statement will invoke the disp practical function of the practical subclass. Obviously, to display the physical training marks and dance music marks. So, these two marks will also be displayed. After that, the control will jump here. And these two print statements will display the total and percentage. Right. So, let us copy this program in the spread ID. Let us run this. See, 101, bin 2 and these two subject marks. Right. These roll number name have appeared through the student class. These Hindi and English marks have appeared through the theory subclass. Physical training and dance music have come from the practical subclass. And total percentage were computed in the result class. Right. If you followed this lecture, kindly subscribe to my channel, share the video with your friends and do write comments. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.